Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third, Part Two, Episode Number Fifteen and Fifty Eight Reaction. Okay, now um, obviously as I said in the previous episode, um, <clears throat> from this episode onwards I'm going to do the episodes which have been recommended to me. And you know, like I told you guys to comment. There were a few comments. I think four four people commented and recommend like you know uh, told me to react to a few episodes, which I'm going to do. So I'm doing going to do it chronologically. Like 15 and 58 was the first epi few episodes that was recommended to me, and I'm going to do that today. And then I'm going to go like this. Now, as I said, like you know, I I actually like you know said like there'll be an upper limit, which will be like eight people and um four wait how many people recommended four or five let me check just a sec uh four people yeah four people recommended me uh episodes so there are still four people left so you can like you know if you uh if you did not comment in the previous episode and want to recommend me uh episodes now from season two obviously uh like you know i'll be taking four more like you know people's recommendations so eight more episodes you can recommend me in this episode uh in the comment section as well so yeah like just i wanted to say that and um like i'll i'll start reacting to it and like you know after uh this season ends i'm going to do it in the similar fashion season three i'm also going to do it in a similar fashion so that's what i'm going to do so today's two episodes that i'm going to react to are episode number 15 and 58 so episode number 15 i'm going to react to now talk about it and then 58 so yeah as and uh, again like you know like i have not seen ep season two so i have no idea like you know like and obviously the episodes in rupan are kind of standalone so it won't be a problem i'm guessing much um but uh, yeah like let's see what how this is like you know i want to see how the animation improved or what happened and obviously the opening and then ending as well like i'm i mean i need to like i'm quite curious what it is so anyways let's get started so this is episode number 15 of rupan the third part two Let's get started. I'll be putting the panels and the time right here. Think it whichever is your preference and let's start. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right. My classic loop and song. This one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I, I I can see the animation has kind of improved. I can see it. It's more cleaner. And Yeah, it, it looks good. Wow. Jigan, damn. Not gonna lie, I think Fujika looks nice in season two. Like all of them looks nice, but I feel like Fujiko, I prefer this look than the season one look. I don't know. I'm sorry, Zenigata looks, looks very bad. What is this? Is that how Zenigata looks? Okay, you know what? Let, let me see. In the anime, like, let's see how Zenigata looks. Like, I f feel like, uh, anyways, let's see. What the? It's like some vampire episode or something? Oh, damn. All over the world. Every week. Unique gem. Dracula's key. All right. Wow, she's actually calling Rupan. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Wait, really? Oh my god, Sherlock Holmes third? My god. Q 
Kim Dani Kosuke. Okay, I'm guessing <laughs> these are all like uh, famous people. Obviously, Zenigata. Obviously, Zenigata is definitely going to come. Oh, damn. Fancy. What? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Oh damn. Okay, that's flying cage. <laughs> X okay. <laughs> All right. May Tante Sorabuyuku, renowned detectives in the sky. All right, this will be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing the detectives, especially if Holmes will be here. Like, Holmes the third. Hindenburg. All right, um, is Fuji going there? That's Holmes. <laughs> what? Okay. You know what? I'll talk about this later. Oh, um, what the? Like my, like you know, like you know, image of Holmes and the Holmes we are seeing. I'll talk about it in a discussion. What? The, this guy's like a. <laughs> like drinking in the middle of the day <laughs> i'm guessing he's very intelligent wow interesting oh my god that's nasty okay like so all of them are i'm guessing really like obviously i know everyone knows Holmes, but i don't know the other two people Oh my god, you're late, Zenigata! <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... I don't know, I... I don't like Zenigata's character design, I don't know why. I feel like his chin is a little... smaller, his chin should be a little... I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, when? Wait, when is this happening? Like, I'm guess, okay. What? Okay, don't do that, please. And <laughs> this guy's just... Okay, Zenigata, you're the one to talk. You just... I feel like his chin would be a little bit more. It would look nice. A little bit more elongated, you know? Zenigata's chin. I don't know why I'm fussing about his chin. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> the way. Well. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was Rupan. <laughs> the worms is just. Um. Damn, that was fast. Was this a test or something? What the hell? You're testing detectives now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hmm, yeah. What? Is that like the monocle that he's wearing? Yeah. <laughs> it's a monocle, isn't it? Oh, not the monocle. It's okay. Inside is okay. The eye. There you go. Oh, damn. That's a... Okay. Okay, I thought it was a monocle, never mind. No, that's the best place, like... What? That's uncomfortable as hell. Oh my god. All right. What is he doing? Okay. Just staring at them. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's already here, most probably snooping around, trying to... Oh! Oh, there they are! Oh, L-U-P-I-N <laughs> Lupin the third is here <laughs> Don't open that yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe using those hot air balloons, they distracted them there and like, you know, they got in or something. That'll be interesting. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm pretty sure they're going to turn off the lights first. Then do something in the darkness. Let's see. Okay, not much time left. All right. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so. Oh, there you go. As I said, they're going to turn on the life, light first. 
I love how they didn't show Lupin at all. Like, you know, it's like keeping it like a mystery where he is. They're not showing Lupin's perspective at all. We're kind of in their shoes now. Oh boy. It's gone. It's a dummy. Wait, what the? No, no, that's not blood. I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Oh, that never crossed my mind. But what is the proof in that? Do you have an alibi? What about the butler who was with them? Um, he had a gun with him, yeah. And you also have a gun. Exactly. <laughs> That's not an excuse. What is happening? These are de renowned detectives? Just... Yeah, that was definitely- oh my god. That's ketchup or sauce, whatever. Or jam, yeah. He's probably unconscious. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a dummy! Okay, so I was right. It was a dummy. Why did you throw it and break it? Oh! Nice! Okay. Oh! Okay, let's see. I'm really liking this because they are not showing Rupa's perspective at all. We are also in the dark here. Wait, everyone? Oh my god. What? Wait, they were all working together? No! Obviously, it's fabricated. Zenkata did not do that. No, wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, but... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, sh uh, the butler was with him. And yeah, obviously. She's going to completely run away with it. Like, that's what she's going to do. That's like a... Yeah, like a knockoff. Oh! Damn. How strongly does he sleep? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. 
Okay, I'm... <laughs> All right. Oh! Oh no. It's like made from some special alloy or something. Yeah. Autopilot. Okay, like... What's he... Oh, he's going to... Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Wait, you... <laughs> it's ready with his... Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. All right. Oh no. He's thinking of something. Oh yeah, these three are also here. I forgot. <laughs> Okay. Damn, they're like already with. <laughs> All right, this will be fun. If something goes wrong here, the whole world is going to see. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. No, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. That's not the reason why. <laughs> Life work. I'm sorry to say, but... Your life work has still not finished, I think. Oh my god. What? Okay. <laughs> Great. What? Okay. Well, obviously. Great, your life work continues. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, what was that? What is this? What? Just bomb the whole thing? What? Oh my... <laughs> I don't know why, but this... This scene is so outrageous. It's actually funny. Like, what? 
Is this bomb set? Oh my god. Oh boy, this reminds me of part one, the first two episodes. I'm surprised how he's alive. Zenigata, like... <laughs> okay, what? Okay. Okay. That's the end. <clears throat> Alright, so... That was... Episode number... Fifth, yeah, 15 of season 2. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, this episode, this was um like my, my me seeing like you know like the first episode, not first, but one like the yeah, the first episode in season two. Um even though this is episode fifteen, uh, as always Lupin's uh, you know stories are standalone, so it doesn't like you know like it wasn't a much of a big problem. But I was interesting like you know to see like you know so many different people. Now here uh, obviously Holmes everyone knows, everyone knows Sherlock Holmes. Uh, but the other two, I think they're probably um, some famous person who, uh, some famous detectives and, you know, who I don't know at least. So they are most probably famous, uh, those two guys, the one from Japan, I think, and there's this another person. Um, so, yeah, but everyone knows Holmes. So this guy, this, um, what's his name? Hi. Gab Gabriel family his name what was his actual name uh okay now first of all let's check their names the, the first one was um Holmes the second uh, one was the American private detective Philip Archer okay um and the third one was Kosuke Kin Kindani Kosuke Kindani who is he Kosuke Kindani I think Oh, wait. No. Oh, is this Kindaichi? Oh. Oh, this is like a like a play on I guess Kosuke Kindaichi. Like um like obviously everyone like you know I I think uh, quite a few of us know knows about Kindaichi who is you no know, uh, here it's said is fictional Japanese detective created by Seishi Yokomizo. Um, and everyone knows, like, you know, the, the, there's, like, an anime as well of Kindaichi Shonen no something I forgot. Um, uh, so, okay, so that's who he is. I'm guessing this is, like, a little, like, you know, give, did a little play on the names. I can call him Kindan instead of Kindaichi. Okay. All right. Okay, that, that makes sense. Hmm. So, these three. And obviously Zenigata there as well. And what is that guy? What's the guy's name? The guy who invited them? Gabriel the 13th. All right. Okay. So now one thing I was, I have to say, like <laughs> the first thing that I was kind of, um, you know, what can I say? Surprise scene is I thought like Holmes and all of them would be very intelligent. There will be like, you know, like they're going to be a very tough competitor for Lupin. But they were very easily like you know like outwitted now i understand why the reason why is probably because it's not that the sherlock holmes this is sherlock holmes the third so the sherlock holmes would i doubt like you know like he would be either outwitted this easily like it would have been probably a great you know like battle of wits if this was the sherlock holmes the like you know the original sherlock holmes but yeah, so this guy he he calls him to his hen his blim Hindenburg. Okay, Hindenburg. <coughs> and this is like his uh life's work, you know, he wants to capture Rupan and he's like a very like you know very enthusiast of detective novels and stuff. So he called all of them, all the four of the renowned detectives and police officer, like Zenigata was and Zenigata as well, was included in that as well. So, all right, they all come in and all of the characters right now, here's the thing. I was going to say, like, you know, I was going to talk about this in the discussion section. Like, um, like my impression of like, oh, the only character that I'm like, you know, like familiar with in this is, um, Holmes and Zengata as well, obviously, but, uh, like Holmes, like I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows Holmes. 
but there's this you know like my impression of sherlock holmes is like you know he would be like a very uh, what can i say like a very tall person you know with um what can i say like would be like a black suit or something um he would have like you know the a, a little stick uh and i don't know like like obviously the the pipe will also be there and um like you know i i thought that would be like you know like sherlock holmes like like sherlock holmes at least in my image is a person like that now seeing holmes here like this is like a like you know like um with the detective not detective cap but the cap that he always wears a little magnifying glass and you know like wearing like uh i don't know i feel like this like you know this holmes i'm i'm pretty sure that this is like a more um like, you know uh, what can i say like uh this the, the attire that he was wearing was like a definitely detective like you know an attire that detectives wear but like i don't know why like there's this image of in holmes inside me like you know that this like he would be like a very tall person like you know he would look like uh like you know very what can i say nice looking handsome with uh, <laughs> <laughs> with a black suit and everything and like you know like something like that a very uh tall dashing person but like as, as soon as as soon as soon as i saw this homes with a little magnifying dash kind of hunchbacked you know like not hunchback but since he was looking you know like yeah i'm like okay like <laughs> but that's just me you know that's because my like you know image of sherlock holmes is like that and um like he you know like and obviously i cannot talk about the other two because i have no as i said i have no idea about the other two characters the only character who was i was like you know familiar with it was Sir Sherlock holmes and zenigata as well obviously but um yeah that's that's like my impression and i like you know like like these characters as i said i don't know about these characters but at least from like you know for holmes i was pretty sure he would be more um uh what can i say more witty and everything you know like he was going to catch everything small little details and it would be a very tough battle but it went down so easily the whole like you know operation of rupan i was like damn and then i realized like oh this is not the sherlock holmes this is actually sherlock holmes the third so it makes sense like obviously like you know like i'm not he's he's not that holmes he's, he's like one of the descendants so yeah but he was still you know like kind of uh what do you call it um trying to like you know like uh, see like what can i say like guess when rupan's going to come and everything but he just got easily uh just bested by that whole thing when they shut off the light and you know and <clears throat> now okay so <laughs> they they go into the blimp and there was there was a little first little test that they were like you know when them go through is the the one where like you know the the whole room kind of dimmed the light and then they were talking from the the the, the little microphone on the stuffed animal not stuffed animal but the like you know the stuffed head and they easily like you know solved that quite easily but that was that only like you know after that when rupan actually came they weren't able to do anything now uh okay now here's the thing that the, the actual treasure was in his eyes the guy's eyes and I, i'll have to say like that was pretty like a good um you know like a good uh effort and that was like a very good effort that he like you know took and he was even like oh i'm going to shut my eye completely and it won't be even be able to uh open after this so rupan has to get it before i do that and like obviously i'm pre i was pretty sure that, that there will be something up with the butler by the end of it because the butler was in a position that was the most closest to the guy and i was like yeah i'm pretty sure sometime down the line some of them would probably disguise them as the butler to get to that um like the the dracula steer and i was correct it was actually fujiko <laughs> and uh the way like they, they get in now i i really liked this episode's design the way they did it because um we actually did not know anything what was happening like we were seeing it from the perspective of the detectives like usually what happens in the like you know not only in rupan movie like you know episodes in more a lot of detective like you know shows where they show like you know oh this person he gave the notice that i'm going to come and steal it 
and then we see what's happening in the police force and then we go back to the thieves what they are doing what they're planning it's like a mixture of both their perspectives and we see the uh, actual mystery slowly slowly unfold we see what the thieves are doing what the detectives are doing and kind of like you know like <clears throat> yeah it kind of interconnects and that's how it goes here however we just saw everything from the perspective of the detectives they were just sitting there and like you know the like the the, the balloon hot balloons came up we still did not know what's happening like you know just like uh, we were also in the dark like the detectives were and then literally the whole <laughs> whole place goes dark uh, because that was the plan of lupin and i was pretty sure that's what he is going to do first thing he's going to do is like cut off the lights lights now i really don't understand <laughs> Like you know, every time, like you know, this is like the most classic trick in the book. You know, cut off the lights first, and especially in this situation, you definitely needed to cut off the lights because you know, like this, this needed to actually go close to the person because the person literally had the treasure in his eyes. So that's what basically they did, and we knew knew nothing. We had to kind of guess, like, oh, what's going to happen? Is this going to happen? Like no clue nothing we don't even know didn't even know if rupan is on their way or something or is he already in we knew nothing about it they did not show anything and i feel like that was a really good way to build up the suspense and everything kind of showing everything from the detective's person perspective for a change and uh, knowing nothing about what lupan's team is doing so yeah okay so then like the whole thing happens um the uh light turns off you know like we get you know then then the light comes out and we see like the helmet the, the armor helmet is gone there's like a little jam and um the, the eye is missing now oh my god here the first okay so first of all how the hell did zenigata mistake that for blood like <laughs> i was looking at it from the distance and i was at the, at the beginning i was like oh that's definitely not blood that's some like either paint or some ketchup or something like that but Zenigata was like oh no he's dead and I'm like wait a minute is he really dead I was really surprised I was like okay like maybe that was blood that means since Zenigata was so convinced I was like all right he's really dead and then turns out he's it's it's a dummy and I'm like what the hell Zenigata you are so excited thinking about like oh Rupan's here Rupan has already started his thing that you didn't even check if the guy's I literally it, it, it can, it's actually dead or not. It, the guy is like a dummy. It was, it was like a it was like a fake person, and you thought that he's dead. You're a police officer. Calm down. My God, this guy gets so heated up whenever it's something with Rupan. Just like you know, his 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 his, his brain completely completely turns off. And, like he didn't even realize that it was. All right, that was okay. <clears throat> and then he starts, you know, lining everyone up, and he's like, "Oh, um, you know, like you guys must have done it. One of you must be Lupin." Now, here's what I thought: like, you know, there would be like a little twist. You know, uh, at that moment, I thought that wait a minute, Zenigata is saying that one of them did it. So I thought, oh, oh, wait, is this going to go in a different direction when one of these detectives will be the murderers and Lupin would not be involved in it? But Rupan, like, you know, also is kind of witness to that whole thing. And, like, something like that. I was thinking he was going to go in that direction. And, but then, like, you know, he said, like, oh, no, you, like, you know, like, uh, one of you is Rupan. And I was like, oh, he, he meant it in that way. Like, I thought one of the detectives really are the murderer. Is the murderer. And not Rupan. And, but, yeah, that kind of, like, you know, I realized, like, that's not the case. That would be interesting, you know, if one of these detectives were, like, the murderer or something. They had their own... Um, agenda and something like that i don't know but anyways um and zenigata was all doing all of these things and the the other detectives were like what like who like you know like why are you bossing us you can also be the like you know imposter here like <laughs> like what why are you and he's like oh i'm a police officer like that's 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 not an excuse <laughs> but anyways they can they quickly find out that it's not blood and I'm like, Zenigata, my god, you, what are you doing? Like, you, you, you're a police officer, like, just calm down. And, and then we see, like, that's like a dummy. Um, the whole thing turns around and the actual one comes out. 
and he's just laughing he's like ah, i knew this was going to happen so i have everything taped you know in the video tape let's watch it here's where i kind of get confused i need to watch that portion again i i feel like i okay let me check that portion okay the tape starts rolling okay the first thing we see is that guy the archer guy who shoots the uh can was it called the can candle bar or something i think something like that chandelier sorry chandelier yeah that's what it's called okay the lights are gone zenigata is just looking on top just like you know baffled at the whole situation just standing up um oh okay zenigata actually falls down okay he's just rattling around okay now i, I can understand what's happening now like i feel like at this moment i thought that I feel like at this moment i thought that zenigata was also in on this you know i don't know why but okay let's check but now that i'm watching it properly no zenigata is not involved he's just fumbling around okay in the dark yeah that's what he's doing okay uh jigen cuts off uh not jigen sorry goemon cuts off the uh helmet um the other one just you know, kind of <laughs> hammers the monocle and and obviously since it's dark it would not be able to see whether it's real or fake the eye picks off the eye you know kind of runs away and jigen no zenigata zenigata comes Wait a minute, what happened in the last scene? Like, that last scene really confused me, and that's why I was saying, like, oh, is Zenigata also involved in this? Then, then I was like, how is that possible? Why would Zenigata be involved? Then I thought maybe this is, like, a fake, um, you know, footage that uh, the guy is, like, you know, playing. Like, why did Zenigata, like, here we see in the last scene, Zenigata's still fumbling around. He comes in front of the camera, kind of looks at it. and oh okay okay oh then he kind of goes back and sits down okay that's what it is then that portion kind of confused me i thought like for a second i thought like zenigata was also involved but no he was just fumbling around all right okay so yeah like the the, the actual thing is out you know they were kind of caught here uh lupin was a little bit like you know, outwitted in this moment but still like you know i think like this yeah this this whole thing was uh part of the plan like they probably knew something was going to happen like they did not anticipate this happening like you know the person you know the whole thing would be fake this and that i, I think like he, they did not anticipate that but at least anticipate something like this should be happening that's why they already had fujiko as a backup you know fujiko as the butler and she already did the job and um and they were just playing around with him oh yeah they they kind of say okay okay yeah, they, in the end, they kind of say like, oh, like I like, you know, waited for up until the midnight because I thought like, ah, it'll be kind of a shame if this whole thing kind of goes, you know, uh, to waste. So I was waiting and playing your game. <laughs> and like they try to get away, but then there's this, like, you know, steel shutter, the alloy, everything like, you know, they aren't able to go away. Even um, Goemon's uh, sword wasn't able to cut the whole thing. So yeah then <laughs> they're just sitting around and zenigata's like just laughing and like he's like haha we caught you lupan like you know a little bit more and <laughs> then the guy the, the guy who's the butler he comes in with the drinks and stuff and here was where lupan's like you know like you know hits a plan he's like all right um let's use the detectives and i'm guessing that's what he did he went to the detectives and he probably said something like you know what your reputation will probably be damaged if everyone gets to know that i like you know caught you like you know like caught you what what can i say you you guys like you know failed your job and just tied up like this so um help us help us out uh, you know you can also get out of this caught free and I'm guessing that's what they made a plan about and Zenigata obviously they handcuffed him 
Um, the FBI was just waiting in, in the end, they just got in and I'm guessing they took care of them very easily because Zenigata, uh, not Zenigata, Jigen, Rupan, their, their Goemon, they were there, so they took care of them and uh, <laughs> they disguised as the FBI agents and like you know the, the detectives were the detectives and like oh my god, now here's the thing Obviously, they were like, oh, they are in the disguise of the detectives because they feel it very ashamed to actually show their faces. I'm like, no, that's not how it goes. No, like, like, <laughs> like, oh my God, like the amount of carelessness they did here. They caught Rupan and all of them and they had a very good opportunity to actually arrest them. But they were extremely careless in the end. Like they just assumed that those were the uh, you know like the uh, Rupan Street team, and uh, and then <laughs> the guy was like, "Oh, my life's work is finally over. Um, I can finally you know like stop this." But <laughs> then Zenigata is like, "Like you fools, come and rescue me. Those are fakes." And then we get to see the actual plan. Lupin like says like yeah like all that thing like that the detectives actually cooperated with him because they did not want their image to go down. And then Lupin casually just brings out a remote control and blows up the whole blimp. And I'm like my God was that necessary? <laughs> I guess. And the thing that actually really surprised me most of the times is how is <laughs> how is Zenigata able to withstand all of these like you know um like you know explosions like what is he made of you know like he was on top of the blimp just the whole thing blows up and he just falls his dresses in tatters but he's still alive like like <laughs> i feel like this was like a whole thing like you know this style this is like one of the olden styles you know like you remember those uh shows like uh tom and jerry and the roadrunner show um looney tunes these like, you know, they had like this common theme of you know, characters just falling from like immense heights or like you know like bombs just blowing up in their faces and nothing happening they, you know they're like you know they're probably they, they had like <laughs> a few broken backs and everything but they, they just like, you know, they were just fine they just stood up and started doing their own thing you know like that was like the whole style that they did it like you know, the comedy that that was like the comedy style where like you know like 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 a person like you know like for example one of the characters in one of the shows gets run over by a car and like maybe it was, it's probably in tom and jerry or something i don't remember it kind of becomes like a flat board and then like suddenly pops up again like that whole thing of like death like you know like if, if a car actually runs over you you'll be dead you know like <laughs> so this thing of like you know death being like you know like you know being so casual and nothing actually happening to the characters for the added comedy effect i feel like since obviously lupin is also kind of like at that you know time frame you know, so this is also quite old i feel like here as well like you know we can see like you know zenigata going through these like you know life and the situations and coming out of it and nothing happening to him you know like that like you know adds to the comedy effect i guess i don't know like you know that whole thing but i feel like that's something like that you know this like an older way like you know the, the way they did it before in cartoons and stuff like here yeah you know like zenigata just the whole thing blows up Zen zenigata just falls from the top <laughs> messed up but still alive he just stands up and he's like oh rupan got away and crying and yeah that's how it goes my god and <laughs> the whole thing like you know they, they <laughs> I, I guess fujiko again like i'm guessing like she she took took that and ran away most probably they never got the the, the, the thing back the dracula's tears fujiko probably just ran away with that and uh, that's probably what happened oh yeah that was a funny episode my god Okay, it was ent entertaining to see all these characters, these like you know like uh, Holmes and Kin Kindani, I think yeah that was his name yeah and the other one the Archer I think his name was Archer. So all right, so that was episode number fifteen. So the next episode which I'm going to react to is another recommendation. 
this is episode number 58 from season two uh, so let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear think it whichever is a preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go oh new visuals in the openings oh uh, one thing i forgot mentioning in the previous discussion i like uh, the, the you know the animation is really nice here obviously it's a lot newer than part one you know the details and everything and just look at this opening like you know it's, it's so much more you know like the animation is so much more better this is episode 58 it's even better than the episode 15 that i just reacted to oh boy <laughs> damn oh and i feel like uh fujiko's voice actress changed didn't it yeah we barely got one um voice line from fujiko previous episode so i wasn't able to actually catch it Wait, who was that? Who was that blonde girl? Alright, let's see. Hmm. What? Ballad concert. Well, how how rude! Zenigata can dance. I think so. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you know what? Where are these guys? Oh my god. Who is Zenigata? Okay, so where is Rupan? Is he... Is he in the audience or... Okay, there he is. Alright. What? Not okay. Yeah. Diamond. <laughs> All right, calm down. Oh, wait, what the? What was that? Face of goodbye at the national border, Kokyo wo wakare no kao. Was that like a track or something? What did he... Hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, it was a string or something? Oh my God, she's on in front of the audience. Damn. Wow, that was... That happened quite easily. Jiginski. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, thank you. I thought he was going to fall on his face or something. Oh no, we got shot.
Oh no. Oh boy. Oh damn, this got serious. Oh! Wow, oh my god. But who the... Who's that? Is that the, the ballerina? I think it's a ballerina. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Monica. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Ballet costume. He'll be like, all right, fine, go ahead. Uh, I'm a little at a rush, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is like rupan's hideout oh i'm guessing so she has probably some <laughs> well yeah mm. this <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? What the? Oh my god, what, what's happening? Effect. Oh, that's why. But, okay, but... Wait, 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 this is going to... Quickly. What? Oh my god. Okay, it was a fake one. Great. I was like, what is he talking about? Okay, so the g girl knew what's going to happen, so... Okay, no, Jigen's not like you. Took my words. Okay, like... Why is he going along? I, I don't understand. Why did he... Why is he accepting her? Oh my god. <laughs> He's so passionate. Just... Just... Uh. <laughs> Great.
How dare you? Great. <laughs> Do some <of> work. <laughs> Oh my god. Like Like I feel like he could have used Rupan's help in this, but I guess Rupan would have just Hmm. I'm surprised he actually accepted it, like, you know, like, her plan. Okay. Passport. I don't... Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Did... Should have just taken a disguise or something. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Uh Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. So did they jump or are they like on top either i think they're on top yeah there you go that was a better plan Um, okay. Oh my god, that will be. Oh my god, the speed. That, oh, my, they're going to whack their faces. Oh no, they're, they're. I don't think that's possible. Like, you know, they're going in such a momentum. It was just. Ah, uh, he's injured. Ah, okay, thank God. Um <laughs> All right, let's go. Hmm. Wait, is that? Oh my god, I was right! Hmm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like
Iya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. I don't think it's that easy, but freedom. Oh my god, she's Oh my god, she's one of Yeah, she's just oh my god. It's like one of those like you know like who are just fascinated by like going to america and looking at all the positive things as jigan saying like every like you know thing has like a other side to it like just like she's facing hardships here she's also going to, going to do that as well in america as well after she goes there so every place like you know not only like every place has the good parts and the bad parts Ah, uh, well. Okay. Like, I don't know, like, why are even the police after her? Like, is she like some kind of a... Like, she is a VIP, I guess, but... Shouldn't people be free to leave whatever they want? I don't know, like, kind of... What? Um. What? Oh my god, she's like one of those clingy. All right. Freedom. Hmm. Hmm. I... <laughs> oh my <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah, this is heavily guarded. Oh and here we go. Yep, this is Jigan we're talking about. Oh. oh no, I really hope there's no traps. Oh my god, yeah. It's going to Come on, just just Oh there was not enough pickup. Oh just run over. Or or yeah. Oh wait what? How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, he's going to go back. And yeah, obviously get captured. Oh no, okay. Rupan. Time for you to come. Rupan's going to come here. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm sure Rupan is disguised here. N Okay, there you go. There, there he is. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Um, what did he say at the beginning of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> when Ruban was looking at the girl? Um, okay. <laughs> I don't think she's go he's going to go back to the girl again. Let's see. Uh. 
Mm. Um, nah. Yeah, he, he's not going back. Obviously, this is the life he leads. Like, he cannot break out of it. His past is going to come and haunt him in the future as well. If he does that, if he tries to get away from it. Without, you know, like, cutting off all ties. Oh, wait, he is here. Okay. Maybe this will be like a goodbye or something. I think he came here to say goodbye. Let's see. Oh no. I was not expecting this. Oh! Oh my god, this guy! Yo! Oh, that was a twist I was not expecting. Yeah, that's a fake one. I think that's a fake one. Or maybe Lupin's here somewhere. Okay, there he is. Well. Mm hmm Okay, that is the real one, okay. Yeah, she did save him, you know, that's true. That is true, yeah. That is true, yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, shut up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what? I'm glad she got it, not Fujiko. Thank God. <laughs> oh, damn. That's a deep. What? And throw it away. Yep. That's not for him. wow okay you know what okay that's the end i really like this episode this was really great oh boy that was like a full twist you know twist filled like you know episode and that last minute revelation was just amazing um i really was not expecting that like you know like i uh, like i don't know why but i get got the feeling like uh like you know from her i got the feeling that she's like a very naive um what can i say girl who just dreams about this like you know uh like uh, like you know going out of this place to like you know america and just like you know living great over there like you know just um like you know uh what can i say like, like living the high life over there i thought like he was she was that type of a girl extremely naive and she was just like you know very uh what can i say like she was like yeah like jigen like you know i'm going to go with him we're going to live a great life there this and that I thought she was kind of like that, like, but that, that really surprised me by the end of it. Uh, like, even in the end, I was thinking Jigen just went there to say goodbye. And I think she probably did that. Um, I don't know if he suspected whether, like, you know, what's, like, what happened there, you know, what Monica did there, it was he, if he was anticipating that or expecting that, I don't know. Um, I think he did, otherwise Nupan wouldn't be there. You know, Rupan was just keeping an eye out on the whole situation. So, but, you know, like, I, I thought, like, yeah, he went there to say goodbye. He was probably going to tell Monica that, oh, like, you know what? Like, my life is this. I won't be able to get accustomed to what you are saying, you know, like, living a normal life. So, I'm here to say goodbye. I think it was going to go in that direction. But, damn, like, I was, <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that was good. That was really good okay oh boy okay so the first thing now this really makes sense now like 
But like the like how the way it was going, I was like, how does this girl even know Jigen? Like what? How? Like how did this happen? Why did she suddenly start liking him? Why did she suddenly say like, oh, let's get married? I'm like, what? Isn't this going so quickly? Like what's happening? You just met. Like, like what? What is this? And it makes so much sense now. Now that, like when we're at the end, like she she basically was planning for that when he when she saw. Uh, what uh you know like jigen was capable like you know of doing she probably like at that moment she was like yeah we like you know like i'm i'm probably going to uh you know like he's probably going to help me out if i am you like, know do it like this and he saves him and then this whole thing happens okay this episode the first thing we get to see is zenigata just being shoved around by <laughs> police here he he tries to convince them. I feel like <laughs> Zenigata got the, like you know very less amount of screen time in this episode, and he was just used in this episode by the people. He just by the police force of this you know this place. Um, he just <laughs> he just said like you know gave the information, and that was just it. But anyways, he was thrown out, and. And the beginning, oh my god, the whole thing when I know the Monica was like, you know, dancing on you know, and Lupin was just looking at him and she's he's like, Oh, I found one. And Jigen is like, What? Like, he's she's like the girl. And Jigen's like, What the hell? Like, you know, like he said something like, Um, you know, like don't focus on girls or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I think he said. And funny thing, like the irony of the situation, like he actually gets involved with the whole thing, <laughs> with that girl. And <laughs> yeah, now I, I do wonder how much he anticipated, how much he did not anticipate, you know, the whole thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure he probably knew something was wrong, you know, like the way the girl suddenly just latched onto him. I'm pretty sure he was able to understand like something is going on here. So I wonder how much, how much did he suspect her? How much did he willingly do you know like yeah but i don't know we'll, we'll probably never know okay so the first thing that he does is like i don't know that was like a string or something i don't know what that was he just shot it on the um the the diamond or thing whatever the thing yeah and okay now so she she wore a fake one and that like you know on, on on stage like she was like accepting uh, expecting something like this happening i guess you know like that's like a very uh costly diamond so he did that rupan gets the diamond and you know uh, rupan is able to get away from that situation and jigen got stuck now you know what i think this is how it went mm, i'm i'm pretty sure that she probably wore the fake one because she was not like you know uh, going to risk the original one she wore a fake one because she thought like something might like this might happen and it did happen and you know like the i, I guess you know he saw like jigen did he did she see jigen doing it let's see um i don't know they did not show it properly but she did kind of look up you know when the the thing was taken and yeah, I think she probably recognized Jigen from that, you know, so Okay, and then I know I think what happened is like she probably thought like all right the fake one is gone Never mind. I have the real one at my place and I think she ran into Jigen when Jigen was trying to run away Completely coincidentally here and I think when she ran into Jigen and saw him like this Obviously, I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably just like you know just took him to her place and patched him up, him up. And while patching him up, I think she, she probably got this plan. She was like, "Wait a minute, I can use this whole situation." You know, when she he wakes up, you know, I'll tell him that oh, like I like you know like I want to get married. You know, let's get out of here. I want freedom. I want to go to America, and you know like and use him to help me get out of. This situation from our like you know out of all the security and stuff everything and i'm guessing that's when she planted the original diamond in his wounds or the the, the bandage or whatever like that and she was like all right he's going to be my like you know 
carrier of the diamond and i'll always be with him try to be with him and you know we both of us will get out and then i'll take it from him when he's sleeping or something and run away i thought that was what he she planned and i think she planned that when after saving jigen not before like it i i don't think it's possible for someone to get that much intuitive like she like you know like she she could not be foreshadowing the whole thing it's impossible like you know like because the whole thing of jigen getting stuck on the roof was completely coincidence he, like you know him getting shot and getting stuck that was like you know like that was coincidence that that was not how it was supposed to go so that was like a like you know a chance of like you know like a very low percent of chance of happening like five percent or ten percent it happened jigen got stuck and meeting him as well uh was also probably a huge coincidence so she did not plan all of that before meeting him after she met him and saw his condition she probably hatched up that plan at that moment and she was like yeah i'm going to do this and that's what she does now as i said like you know from the beginning i was extremely suspicious of her the first thing that i thought like she's probably like planning to use him to do something you know get out of this place or something like that but after she started talking to him like that and like you know i, I started kind of getting convinced that maybe she's like that naive girl and especially after she says like you know her dream of going to america and saying like oh this this these amount like things are there like, can i be able to get freedom like you know live the like you know a, an amazing life and like i was like oh so she's one of the, like you know one of those type of people who has these grand ambitions and thinks like oh my life is bad if i am able to do this go to this place my life will completely change you know like something like that i thought like she she was one of those people and i was like oh she's like a naive girl you know like who doesn't like you know he's who, who isn't able to understand like you know how like you know this whole thing goes and she has this big dream and probably like you know liked jigen after she saw him and she's a little bit clingy i thought like you know and i realized now why she was clingy because the diamond was literally in, on his on the bandage obviously she would be clingy because <laughs> yeah so you know like that's what you know like and oh my god you know what <laughs> makes so much sense the whole scene of the bandage he unwrapping the bandage she just comes in and she's like oh why are you doing this you know like at that moment i thought like oh is she like one of those like you know clingy people who are like oh you know like you won't do anything i'll 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 do everything for you like you know too overprotective or something like just you know on top of the other person something like that it makes so much sense now like like damn the way they did this like i completely had my mind like she's like this naive girl who's just a bit clingy and doesn't know anything about the world and you know is trying to having these grand ambitions and dreams and she thinks jigen and she can be happy if she if they get out of this place but no that was really well done uh and now i'm like you know, understanding what 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 she was planning and how it, it went completely and damn a calculated plan hats off uh, to her <laughs> So, okay, now, <clears throat> that whole thing happens, and I was very surprised to see Jigen actually accept it. I'm like, what? Like, Jigen, like, you just met her, like, why? And, now, here's what I, what I was actually saying. I don't understand, I don't know how much Jigen anticipated the whole thing happening. Did she, he realize that the girl was actually using him? Did she, like, have a little hint of that? Or was he really, like, you know, trying to get away and, like, you know, get married to her? Is that what she was re really wanting or did he know that something was going to go wrong and she's using her? I don't know. I think there was, like, it was, like, a 50-50 or something, you know. She, he had his own, like, you know, like, suspicion, but at the same time, he, he probably wanted to go with the girl. Something like that, I'm guessing. But, <clears throat> yeah, and... Okay, uh, all right, so then now I, I, do, I don't understand one thing. Oh, I guess because she stole the diamond, like why was the police looking for her? I guess because she, she took the diamond, I'm, I'm guessing. That's the reason why. She was also in the wanted list alongside Jigen. Okay, I think it's probably something like that. But all right, so yeah, and they like you know they take a train and try to get away but obviously the, the guards like you know just kind of finds them 
and the whole thing with the bridge i think that's kind of impossible the, the train was going so fast if you actually try to jump and cling onto the bridge you know like your lower leg is in full momentum so according to the law of inertia uh something that's in momentum you know like it like you know unless and until some external force stops it you know it, it keeps going in that inertia and like you know like if you cling like you're, you're like in a train the train is moving fast if you cling onto the bridge like that you would need either huge amount of strength to actually grab onto onto it and just like you know kind of keep holding it or or it will be like you know like it's impossible i feel, i think like the force would just take you alongside it and it'll, it'll just die i don't know but anyways they were able to somehow grab onto the the whole thing like if, if the train was a little bit slower i think it would be possible but the train was really moving fast it's kind of impossible but anyways <laughs> uh keeping that aside they get up and on like you know on the other side like you know Rupan and like you know fujiko all of them were trying to find where jigen is kind of track them down by like you know disguising as a police officer fujiko and <clears throat> yeah and then here's where we get to hear what the girl has to say she says like um there you go uh what uh Jing, i think jingan says like what's what's in america and she says there is freedom it's like only for those with money and she's just like jazz rock musical disco and the latest fashions like all these like, you know sparkly amazing things she just keeps saying them america has everything and he's like they also have gangs sex drugs violence now interesting thing here this scene when i was watching it i was like oh she's a naive girl you know i thought that's how my the whole thing went I'm, I'm like oh she's like seeing these grand dreams but is not seeing the other side of the whole like you know thing of the spark like you know, every, every like you know beautiful like you know every every good thing like has like a shadow behind it and she, she's just focusing on the good parts and <clears throat> interesting thing like i was I, like you know, when she was talking about this like you know, just looking outside when jigan was talking about the bad parts she was just completely ignoring him just talking about the good things this is what made at, at that moment convinced me that yeah she's one of those kind of del not delusional but like one of those people who just looks at the good things and just you know tries to you know not look at the bad parts and like you know like kind of convincing herself by like oh my life it'll get better there it's just a like you know dream it's like making uh, castles in, in in the air or something like that um i thought it was something like that interesting thing by the end of it i actually realized that she understood everything you know she's definitely going there for all these things but the thing that jigen said that to those people who have money these things are available to them she also knew that that's why by the end of it she says like as you said we need money to get all of those things that i was talking about so the the, the diamond is that source of money and like she was very self-aware of the that whole situation it completely like you know like changes my perspective of of her like in a matter of seconds like you know like up until the ending i had this impression she was a very um naive like you know like childish type of a girl who doesn't realize the harsh reality but then like you know the last few seconds of the episode made me realize like nah she understands everything she she she, she realizes everything and this is just a plan on making that whole thing possible like really well done i mean i this really genuinely took me by surprise especially the ending okay and then um jigen tries to run away uh no sorry uh not jigen but uh, um, yeah jigen and uh monica tries to get out of that like you know the place there's a, that whole scene oh and then that bandit scene as well at that moment i did not realize i thought like she's probably a little bit clingy but no that was not actually the reason but um yeah and then like you know they they try to get out of that whole thing with using a motorbike and <clears throat> yeah like monica gets out easily as but obviously like jigen got gets caught and <laughs> you're going to kill him but I, I was pretty sure rupan is going to come and save him somehow or, th or the other <laughs> and Mm, yeah like that's what happens like you know rupan saves him from there and just get out 
and to uh, the other country i think austria it was yeah uh, and <laughs> here's where everything changed like my i thought like okay you know what i think how this is going to go is jigan's going to go back go back to the girl i i know the first thing i thought he, he was not going to go back at all and i thought like he was just going to like you know like leave her be uh, but he goes to the ferris wheel and i'm like okay maybe he came here to say goodbye because i i was pretty sure like yeah obviously jigan cannot leave rupan like that's impossible you know like these like you know these like the you kind know, they, they he's like a part of their group and that's like his life he, he can and cannot you know without cutting any ties just like that he cannot just do something like that it's impossible like his past is going to come and haunt him uh, you know if he tries to do that so yeah like i was pretty convinced he just went there to apologize to her and say something like ah oh, like not for me so i'm sorry you, know? you go ahead with your life uh, and <laughs> he gets in and uh, uh, monica's like oh thank god you're here you're like you know like you did not die and she says like okay i did nothing for you to thank me jigen says and <laughs> monica's like but you brought the droplet of aurora all the way here for me G jigen's face and <laughs> i was like wait what <laughs> the click of the gun i was like what's happening here and then i was like oh my god so that's what her plan was and, and and everything just just completely changed my whole perspective on it just changed in a matter of seconds like he got me as well like good job like my god like that was like a very convincing acting <laughs> but yeah like and then she says like it was on the bandage in the wound i'm like damn like you know my mind is blown i'm like wow that that was like a really well made plan and <laughs> and i don't know how much jigen anticipated that but rupan was already there so rupan was like you know like ah oh, that's mine that thing you know that uh, diamond is mine um and <laughs> jigen is like you know what uh, oh and then the girl yeah this is where monica says like uh, i didn't mean to quote you but i need money to buy freedom there you go like she understands everything like you know the harsh reality of the world but you know like she tricked us <clears throat> and but jigen was like you know what like yeah like you know i i don't know what uh you know Rup no what what did you say all right here we go he just drops it on her, in her hand she says like i lost and he just drops it in her hand and he's like yeah you take it you saved my life twice and i saved you once twice okay look, the first one was that scene when's that twice Oh, I, I guess in the train. Yeah, the, the, the train there when he was hanging. Yeah, I think that's that's the second time. Mm. But yeah, he, he just gave it to her. And it was like, yeah, that that takes care of that. Like, you know, and <laughs> you know what? I'm really glad he gave it to Monica because Rupan was like, oh, why did you give it to her? I was going to give it to Fujiko. I'm like, no, you know, <laughs> like, like what? Like Rupan. <sighs> Rupan doesn't need to give anything to Fujiko. You know why? Because Fujiko always takes it. You know, like, there's no point in giving something to her. She would either way take it. You know, by betraying him. So that was like, like I was like, no, like thank God he gave it to Monica. Like that at least like you know went to a good cause. You know, she she was going to do something with her life, not like Fujiko. You know, just. But yeah, like good, good job, Jigen. I like you know, like I'm like I'm I'm happy that Fujiko did not get it, because I'm pretty sure after this, I'm sure they're going to do some other like you know, uh, try to steal some other thing. And I'm pretty sure probably in, in the next couple of like you know days, Fujiko is probably going to betray Lupin again, grab the the thing and just run away. That's what's going to happen. Like Lupin doesn't need to give and give anything to Fujiko. Fujiko just takes it. That's what like you know, what she does. So yeah. <laughs> And in the end, Rupan is like, Che, who's a woman hater? You're just a plain romantic, you idiot, Jigen. <laughs> that's true, that's true, you know. It's, it's just a big old Sundre, you know, Jigen. <laughs> and Jigen just shoots the thing, uh, the passport. Yeah, that's not for him. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was it. That was uh, episode number 53. 
eight. So yeah, that was really great. I love this episode. So yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. These were my two reactions of the recommended uh, recommended episodes. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So as I said in the beginning of the episode as well, the reaction as well that uh, there are still four people like you know I could take recommendations from each people two episode so if there is any episode you want to recommend you know if any of you have not commented in the previous episode and you want to you know recommend me two episodes from season two you know you can you should do that in the comment section four more people you know like eight more episodes I'm like you know I, I, can, I can react to after this after that no more uh, and then I'll do it in a similar fashion for season three that's what I'm going to do so if anyone is there who wants to recommend me stuff, two more episodes, feel free to do that. Um, any new people, like the people already commented, you know, like uh, if no one comments, I guess, you know, like uh, by the end of it, you can probably like, you know, comment a few more episodes. I'll, I'll tell it in the almost at the end, you know, after like uh, after I see like all of my, uh, you know, the, the, the episodes that I'm reacting to these. These two I did today and there are like. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven or eight more episodes, like two or three more weeks. I'm going to react to if within that time, if no one else recommends me any new stuff, no one, new, no new people recommends me any stuff, you know, I'm going to ask like, you know, like some other, like, you know, one or two more episodes from you guys, like, you know, who commented before as well, if you want to recommend me. So I'll do that later on. But for now, you know, if there's any new one of like, you know, new pe person who wants to recommend stuff, feel free to do that. Two episodes. So yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more uh, Rupan the Third Part Two recommended episode reactions. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.